What's up you guys? So I've got all my camping stuff packed up. I've got my paraglider, my paramotor in the back. I am traveling from Chicago, Illinois to Northport, Michigan to go to the Northport paramotor fly-in. I've never been to this fly-in before. It's going to be really interesting to see what it's like, how many people show up, and uh, yeah, it's going to be some beautiful scenery, so stay tuned. Well, I've made it to the campground, although it's absolutely dark outside and I can't really see anything, so I have no idea where I'm going. I think I actually see where my group is. It's Midwest Pearjet right here. Is anyone home? It's morning time. It's about 7 a.m. I just slept in my car last night. It's actually pretty comfortable. I just, I have two sleeping bags here, so I got some padding underneath me and I slept like a baby. So I decided I'm gonna try for a flight this morning. Winds are not too bad coming out of the west. We'll see what happens. Oh. No wind to keep it up. <laughs> Don't know exactly what happened here. So the wind kind of collapsed over this way, so I need to roll it back over. All right, so I just got done with flying this morning. I did decide to fly. Uh, I was able to wake up enough to feel up for the task. And it's actually, yeah, really beautiful morning, beautiful weather could not ask for a better flight. I need to go to a cafe to get myself some breakfast because I, I really didn't bring a whole lot. I brought, you know, some minor camping stuff, clothes and the, the bare essentials that I need, toiletries. But I really didn't bring anything else. So I need to go to a cafe to get some food. And then also I have to work remotely. So I'm gonna work until about 6 p.m. Then I'm gonna come back and have some more fun. <laughs> this flight is I got fancy pants strobe system so I just turned the strobe on my helmet and the 
picture, I look where I'm going. And now the strobe is on my wing. Isn't that cool? There's the other one on. Ah, uh, that's not working. Well, that's sad. Yeah, this is the PPG, the PPG smoke strobe system. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of it. The the first set that I got actually didn't work at all. The uh, the transmitting strobe that goes on your helmet just didn't work. Like it would stay on for about a minute and then it would just die, even if it was on a full charge. So they sent me another pair and this one is also having problems. Um, the problem that I had was that I was charging the transmitter the strobe and I pulled the charging cable out and I hear a snap. Now, mind you, I was pulling it straight out and I wasn't doing, like I wasn't applying that much force, but when I pulled it out, I heard a snap and I realized that the solder on uh, the charging port broke. So now it only charges if you apply a down, or if you apply an upward pressure on the port on the strobe. Um, I really like the idea of putting a strobe in your wing and the fact that they can sync with each other. It's a really cool idea, but it just doesn't work very well. And I've heard from other people that it doesn't work well either. We got the Scooter Gang. And you don't give a shit about anybody like yourself. Oh, You're next. And we fucking want it. Okay. No, get the fuck out of here. What the hell is this? Sir, we're trying to leave. It's, it's like a gang. Fuck off the trail where it's like vehicles. It's illegal. You're just, this is a hiking trail. No motorized vehicles. Bicycles. Bullshit. It says no bicycles, too. Look at it. You gotta stop being such a jerk. It ain't all about you, buddy. Be rational. Be rational. Fucking Have a good day. Fuck you all. <laughs> wow. What a sight. So I'm on the edge of the land, as you can see below me, and all I see when I look out is endless water. I live about right there. It's probably more this way, actually. They're probably more that way instead of to the north. I have never been over a body of water like this. This is pretty crazy. That is something else. Let me tell you, that is really something else. I'm gonna do a little twisty loo. <laughs> oh man, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. So I'm just gonna sit at idle here for a while. Man, it is really hard to put into words how absolutely beautiful and awe-inspiring this is. And, you know, I don't know if it looks that amazing on camera, but it is, the only, the only way I can describe it is awe-inspiring. It's truly, truly awesome in the original sense of the word. I mean, look at these houses over here. This is, how would you like to have a house that is on the edge, on the true edge of the peninsula right here? This guy's landing. 